Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 12 of Book 1, which states that if we have a line and a point not on the line, it is possible to draw a second line such that the two lines are perpendicular to each other. But before we begin, let's review what a right angle is and what perpendicular means. If we have two lines, AB and CD, and the angle DCB and DCA are both equal to each other, then these, then these two angles are right angles and the line DC is considered perpendicular to AB. So let's begin. So we start with our arbitrary line and arbitrary point that is not on the line. The next thing we're going to do is to find a point D on the other side of our line. Draw a circle with C as the center and CD as the radius. And label the intersections between the line and the circle as EF. Now we will bisect the line segment EF. Now point G is the midpoint between E and F. Connect the line C and G. Now CG is perpendicular to our original line. So how do we go about proving this? First, if we look at the lines CE and CF, they are equal in length because they are the radii of the same circle. EG and GF are equal since we have just bisected EF. Now let's look at the two triangles. We have R1, R2, and length CG. We have R1, R2, and length CG. So we have two triangles where we have a side, 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 our equivalent, which we know that in this case, that means the interior angles are also equal. So again, these being the two angles of importance, they are equal, and by definition, if they are equal, the line CG is perpendicular to EF. CG perpendicular to EF. And thus we have demonstrated how to draw a perpendicular line from a given point to a given line segment. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.